Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to running week seven, getting back to running and in shape to start training for a half marathon. Um, we're on vacation and we are at Disney World. We are staying at the Pop Century Resort and there is a running trail that connects with uh, Art of Animation, runs around Hourglass Lake. It is a 1.3 mile loop. You can run around the resorts to get more mileage instead of having to do laps. Um, this morning I did four miles. I know Wade uh, set out to do a mile this morning. We had a super long day yesterday. We did park open and park close at Magic Kingdom and we ate a super heavy meal. So we had Liberty Tree Tavern for dinner. And if you, you guys don't know what Liberty Tree Tavern is, it's basically a Thanksgiving meal. All you can eat, um, sit down restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. And it's one of our faves, but um, it was kind of last minute and whew, we were feeling it at five o'clock this morning after a long day but today is a rest day so we pushed through woke up super early and we ran this running trail which felt really nice um disney always gets me motivated um it's so nice the property is really nice one thing that really is strange though is the running trail is the smoking path so you'll run past those and uh I didn't really like that, but other than that, yeah, such a great morning. Good morning, everyone. So, whoo, boy, I'm gassed. Okay, so despite spending all day in this uh, Florida heat yesterday, not getting back to the hotel sometime after 11, not getting to bed until sometime after midnight, I just ran my best my best run that I've, I've done since we started. So I don't know if it's because I was so loose from yesterday. I definitely wasn't hydrated, but I'll take it however it comes. I was running so good that right at our hotel where I should have finished was somebody dropped some money and I was so in the groove, I wasn't even gonna stop to look and pick it up. It wasn't mine, I didn't have it before. No need to, I just kept trucking, kept going. End up getting like a mile and a half. So now I'm walking back to the hotel. <sighs> about to shower. But goodness gracious, this was a change of pace that I needed. A change of scenery, that is. Beautiful. We are back home. We got home, oh my gosh, late last night. So we have, do you see Remy? Yeah, we're about to go to the track. I'm going to run one mile tonight. I have decided that I'm going to at least run at least a mile every day for the next 30 days. So it is July 2nd. Um, so that'll go until August 1, which is when we start our actual training plan for the half marathon that we're running later this year. So anyways, um, one mile in, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do tonight and then long run tomorrow. <laughs> It's hot out here. The sun came out maybe a mile ago. Um, I did five miles. I sound really crazy, but I feel fine. <clears throat> I woke up this way. Um, whew. My long run is complete. And uh, day two of 30 day running challenge is in the books. And uh, yeah. I feel really good when I first started uh, my legs felt really heavy which is kind of what I expected after such a long week um, on vacation doing Disney super hard uh, but as I got to mile two I started really feeling pretty good my lungs felt good the whole time um, I tried to run just super slow and uh, yeah I feel really good I'm so happy that I got it done Wade um, walked through me at the nature trail across the street from this park and then they went to the dog park 
and they're waiting on me at the car now. Um, I think Wade may run later today if he feels better. We're gonna go to the pool and have like a 4th of July, a pre-4th of July celebration with some of my family. So that may change and if so, that's fine. Uh, he can run tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna end it here and if he does run, he decides to run, we'll pop it in after this. Thank you guys for following along <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Bye.